start by designing your text on the computer. So I've just written sparkle on mine and then you just want to print this off onto some paper. All I've done here is place some baking paper over the top of my text and then using a pencil, don't worry the pencil will not be touching your cake, I've simply gone over the top. You then need to flip it upside down and this is where the food grade part of it all starts. Now I'm going to be using um, one of the Rainbow Dust edible pens. I'm using the black one because my text is going to be in black. But you can get these in any colour that you need. I'm going to use the larger side rather than the small side. And I'm simply going to go over the text. All I am doing here is adding a small amount of Trex vegetable fat, but just around the outside of the letters. This is just so I can easily apply this to the cake and prevent it from moving too much. Now I'm simply going to stick this to the cake and then I'm going to get a pencil and again just go over um, the baking parchment part. So again, it's not touching the cake. But the pressure will help that edible pen actually go onto the cake directly. So all I'm going to do now, like I've just mentioned, with the pencil, I'm actually putting pressure on those marks, you know, underneath where the edible pen is. So this will help leave us a lovely mark behind on our lovely white cake. And it'll just make it an awful lot easier when we do actually start painting it. Now, for this tutorial, I will not be painting this on with a paintbrush. I'm not very good at painting, personally, and I've found something that makes things an awful lot easier. So, to paint on my lettering, I'm using something called a fluid writer. Now, I learned about this through the amazing cake artist, Lindy Smith, and you will be able to find these, or you should be able to find them, available on her website. Basically, all you need to do is place, I'm using Cassie Brown's airbrushing food colouring for this. You want an airbrushing colour because it needs to be very liquidy, eh? um, but not too liquidy, so this is quite good. And you need the smallest amount. You just place this directly into the top of your fluid writer. Now, if you was then to turn this upside down, you'd be really surprised because it will not actually come out. It's fantastic. It means you can actually write on the side of a cake without worrying about all um, of your edible food colouring literally going everywhere. If you're not very confident with a brush, these are fantastic and I absolutely love them. See how I'm turning it upside down there? They're brilliant. Now it does come with another little tool in there and if some of the fluid starts to get slightly stuck, you simply just place this in the centre of the fluid writer, straight down, you can go up from the bottom, but it works wonders. And just watch me paint directly onto this cake and then you just leave it to set like you would anything else.